Hello everyone, today I am going to show you how to create VAT map using WAP and Solver in Houdini. Okay, so over here we have this situation where we have one water surface and there is one floating object on it. So basically we have to create VAT map that is basically generated uh, whatever the surface that is underneath of that water surface and we need to keep the wet impact caused by the water on the surface for a while and then slowly dissolve it. Okay, so let's move into that scene. Okay, so over here I have this particular scene in which I have one floating object that I created through one spear onto which I just apply one mountain and on that I just apply one transform to animate that particular stuff. Okay. While for water, I create one high raise grid on which I just apply mountain and over here I just animate my X and Y offset to get some water effect over here. Okay, so now let's move into our main task that is to create wet map. And for that reason, as I already told you that we have to keep that wet impact onto that object. And for that purpose over here, that solver is good option for that. Okay, so over here I just use my object as first input, this grid as my second input. And over here I create one visualize. Okay. Now what I need to do is that over here I need to create attribute create operator I just apply it over here and over here I just assign the name to be wet map and I just set this value is zero now I just duplicate this particular stuff over here I just assign it over here and now over here I just need to apply that value to be one okay so now I just go inside this particular solver but before we go over there I just activate display flag on visualizer and I just select visualizer and over here I just apply that wet map. One more thing that I want to apply over here first of all I just apply the template flag over here on and over here I just need to lock this particular view over here. So now I just go inside this particular thing and see first of all what I need to do over here is that I need to create one impact or you can say that wet map that is basically interact or intersect with that particular surface and to do that over here first of all I just apply one attribute copy in which I just assign this as input one as my this copy attribute two and this is copy attribute from and in which over here I just define that wet map I remove that color over here and over here I just remove this match p attribute okay now over here I apply attribute transform I just apply this object over here this input to is my water surface grid that is and I just apply it over here now I just need to apply that I want to transform my wet map from here to here. I just uncheck this primitive, go to condition and over here I just reduce this distance threshold maybe 0.01 and over here 0 0.08 maybe. Also we get a little softer impact over here and if I play this particular stuff, see we get that impact or web map that keep on to that particular surface okay but the problem over here is that we need to create that web map that underneath on this particular area also and to do that over here I need to use attribute mop okay in which I just assign this spear and input to over here activate display flag over here I just go inside this particular stuff and over here I have one intersect operator in which I have to assign this file okay so first input is your file that 
the geometry okay so that water surface geometry so over here that input 2 is my water surface so I just need to apply that particular stuff over here now group we do not have any group the ray origin that is your origin uh, so basically that uh, floating objects position so I just apply it over here now I need a ray direction and that ray direction should be in y direction whether it is negative or positive right now we need negative direction okay and but the thing is that that ray also need a proper weight on it okay so through that basically at least we cover that bottom area over here but over here i prefer that that value should be covered that whole stuff so uh, there is nothing that left out over there okay but i need that particular uh, weight of that particular uh, ray should be procedurally calculated and to do that over here i am going to call one bounding box so technically it's called if we if you are not assign anything over here it just consider your first input as the reference geometry to create that bounding area and it basically create one minimum and maximum x y z outcomes over here but i need only y information to so to extract that particular stuff over here i just call vector to float i just assign over here i just duplicate this particular stuff change the input over here and now over here we have that y information and i just apply subtract over here in which minimum y minus maximum y okay but now over here we need that should be in ray so we need vector information over here so to do that over here i just call vector to float uh, float to vector sorry and over here i just assign y information and i just apply that particular stuff as my ray direction now see if you check this particular stuff like uh, this position so now see we get something like this over here okay and now even if i create one bind export over here and see over here it also create one primitive okay now if you apply that particular stuff over here see we will get uh, that primitives number see over here parameter so basically whatever that underneath of that particular area it just set the value so i just remove this particular stuff and that particular primitives get the value minus one maybe you can find out over here and whatever that above that particular surface because of that ray direction we get that primitives number okay but basically we need those value between 0 and 1 okay so wherever we have that minus 1 value we need wet map should be over there 1 and where we have that uh, higher value like this we need over there uh, wet map should be 0 okay so to do that over here we have very simple concept that I just apply one compare operation and I just apply this primitive as this and over here I just apply less than 0 so whatever less than 0 that should be 1 okay and over here I get this particular value in true and false so basically integers so over here I just apply one integer to float I just apply it over here okay and now maybe over here I just name it as wet map and maybe you just apply this particular stuff over here and see you will get something like this okay but I need that softer edge that we created that should be also blend over here so to do that over here I just call one bind operator through which I just call that wet map and over here I just add that mat wet map over here. Okay, so, but basically over here we get that overlapping. Okay, so to overcome of that particular thing over here, I just apply one clamp operator through which basically we clamp our information. So it is basically bland in a proper manner. Okay, so now if you play this thing, we get something like this. Okay, but what we need over here is that that should be 
gradually or slowly dissolve okay by time so to do that over here i am going to create one parameter and i just apply gain over here gain and i just put value maybe 0.98 over here and that should be multiply with your wet map okay so now you come over here and maybe play this particular stuff see now you can get that particular stuff dissolved slowly and if you want to try that values like maybe 0.9 see it basically slowly dissolve and it create one some more wet map when it comes out of that water surface okay so that's how you can create your wet map attribute using solver and specifically this attribute wall okay so hope you like this tutorial see you soon with another tutorial thank you